Howdy folks. Let's go over the dollar sign and double dollar sign commands in WebDriver IO. These just let us find elements on the page so that we can start interacting with them and controlling them. You might have noticed we've used these in some of the previous tests, but let's just um, go over this a little bit more. Let's do an it, let's just do whatever. So let's go to our trusty test page here and let's just let's just find someone let's grab this element here welcome to the internet so we can grab this with a class of heading I won't go into selectors in this one I will go into it in the next video but you can see we can use the dollar sign command here to do that and this will what this will do is it will grab it'll get this element so at this point we have this element. We're, we are grabbing it on the page. And once we have that, we can do different things with it, depending on what, what type of element it actually is. So we could call the get text on it if we wanted to. So all we would have to do is do get text. We could call that. Uh, let's see, if we wanted to get, we could check is existing, is enabled. Let's check is e enabled. We can check that. We can call a lot of these different commands. We can do wait for displayed if we wanted to. And so forth. One thing to note, this dollar sign is not jQuery. And it has absolutely nothing to do with jQuery. I see a lot of people confuse this. jQuery is client side. WebDriver IO is server side. They both are doing a similar, very similar thing, but this is not jQuery and has nothing to do with jQuery, just to let you know. All right, so let's go over the double dollar sign. So just like the dollar sign, the double dollar sign will find elements on the page, but now this will find multiple elements on the page. Whereas before the dollar sign would just be one, the double dollar sign will be multiple. So let's try to find all the links here and grab those. So we can target those by literally just the A tag. Let's do that now. So let's grab links, we use the double dollar sign this time, and we'll grab it by the A links. Let's actually navigate, to, we need to navigate to this page. So do that. All right, so we'll navigate to the page. We'll grab all of the links. So what this does is grab every single link on the page. And that returns an array whenever it's the do double dollar sign. So we can loop through that array. So we'll use the for each. Then link. And let's log out the text of the link. So just like before with the dollar sign, once we are inside the for, for each loop and we have just the link, we can call all of these methods on it, just like with the dollar sign. So you can almost think of it as at this point, we're, we're inside here, we can use it like the dollar sign. So let's, let's log the text. All right, we got that. And we should see a log of all the text. for each link. Link.getText, all right, I misspelled that. Try it again. There we go, so now we have the, the text of every single link on that page. 